Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Shaloma Lawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, the World Peace Day in Harare aims to promote calm in the country ahead of elections. Students have come up with a new way to help battle the effects of climate change. It's the 8th edition of the Intuasa Arts Festival in Bulawayo. And in sport, the Southern Region Basketball League kicks off in style. Ahead of upcoming elections, Zimbabweans have been urged to support peace in the country and the world over as part of the International Day of Peace in Harare. Jeffrey Moyo has more. The Greek Orthodox Church Bishop has urged Zimbabweans to unite and respect human rights issues to help build peace in the country. Archbishop Eminent Seraphine said this recently during events to commemorate the International Day of Peace. Nations, they have this responsibility to come out and to work together for peace and reconciliation, to be sensitive how to protect the violation of the human rights around the world, and of course also to take action to protect our planet. Now we experience all of us the problems of the climate change. Seraphin urged political leaders in Zimbabwe to uphold peace across the country. Our leaders, they have to show their commitment and our president and the other leaders to work together, the members of the parliament. And then we need this goodwill from the religious leaders to realize that the future belongs to our children and they are going to have a better world if we put now the good foundation of working together. A member of the Greek Orthodox Church urged women to play their role in upholding global peace. And I think women should bring the peace to the world. We, bring, we have the children, we in the homes, we in the country, whatever we do and whatever we strive for, it must be for peace, for love and for understanding everybody. A Catholic at the commemoration said peace should be respected the world over. Peace is social justice. So we were happy to be here and we look forward that not only what was said today will end up today, we'll have to leave it in our communities, in our societies, not only in Zimbabwe, even on the whole globe internationally. High school students also participated and called for the promotion of global peace. Peace is something which cannot be bought. Peace is something which can be considered as a blessing if you have it in your country. I think Zimbabwe is a blessed country because we have peace in all corners, be it cultural, be it economic and everywhere. We've got peace and I would like to thank God for uh, blessing, us with, blessing us with such an unmaterial gift. Violence has in the past claimed the lives of many people in the country and calls for peace are now critical as the nation prepares to go for polls. Reporting for ATV and Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. With the effects of climate change affecting the country's agriculture sector, Harare Polytechnic students have come up with a chip irrigation system which was revealed at the Research and Intellectual Expo. Jeffrey Moyo reports. Harare Polytechnic College's Division of Civil Engineering has invented a drip irrigation system that could be critical in mitigating the impact of drought among smallholder farmers. ATV captured the new invention at this year's Research and Intellectual Expo, which was held recently at the University of Zimbabwe. We can pump water from the bowl using the submissable pump into this tank. And after placing water in this tank, we can maintain our pressure height by 4 meter height. Then the water passes through into this pipe and it is filtered by this filter. It goes into this fertigation tank and it collects the fertilizers. And the fertilizer, the solvent of fertilizer and water mixture, you know, by a full raft in this, you know, by a full raft in this filter. After that, we will be measuring our pressure gauge, you know, for now, get per two millibars going into the field. So in this one, panning tenetine ma automatic electric gate valve are panababa. They will be controlling water per each phase. Gurube said sizes of tanks used on drip irrigation systems may be adjusted to suit particular agro regions. If it is a 10,000 liter tank, it will be watering 10,000 plant because we will be wishing to maintain one liter per, per plant. It depends whether it's an arid region or it's a savanna region. So per savanna region, per three days, it needs one liter of water. Kuma desert region, it means we need one liter of water per day. 
three days we need one liter of water in Sabana region. The new invention is usable in all regions across the country. The drip irrigation system is a positive step towards conserving water in all agricultural activities. Drip irrigation saves water. Uh, basically the idea is that you store your water in this tank and then it supplies a specific amount of water to specific hectares. The machine works even without electricity. It will be used manual, so you have to take note of the pressure. Uh, after you take note of the pressure, then you calculate uh, the number of hours that you want to, to irrigate for each plant. The research and intellectual expo was held to showcase the innovative outputs in the country's universities, colleges, polytechnics and independent research centers. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. Arts enthusiasts have flocked to the 8th edition of the Intuasa Arts Festival in Bulawayo. Our reporter Selum Hlanga joined them for ATV. One more time. The 8th edition of the Intuasa Arts Festival kicked off on a high note with various artists showcasing their unique performances. ATV captured some of the artists in action who enthralled audiences at the festival. Imbuwe and Sembo and other performing art groups were also impressive. Bulawa is famous magician could not be outdone by other performing arts. The arts festival was held under the theme Bulawa Your Blooming. We wanted a theme this year that will take us a step further, a theme that will say we as Intuasa are trying to do this, or a theme that will say we want everyone that comes to Intuasa to say I am blooming. We want them to a flourish sense that way. Blooming denotes happiness, youthfulness, vigor, positivity and growth. And what would you like from a festival of the nature of Intuasa? This year, the festival is displaying seven art genres encompassing a variety of art forms. The festival, which runs for a week, gives artists a platform to showcase their talent and promote local culture. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. The Bulawayo Court of the Disabled hosted the start of the Southern Region Basketball League with defending champions Unicorns continuing their winning streak. Melody Mukuti gives us more. Defending champions Unicorns continued with their winning streak after they beat ZB Titans 54-36 in a thrilling basketball encounter at the Bulawayo Court of the Disabled. Unicorns had a good head start as the Southern Region Basketball League kicked off. Walter Mabena, coach of Unicorns, is optimistic that his team will maintain its winning ways throughout the season. It's our desire. We really want to try and start the season on a good note, and winning this tournament will mean a lot to us. In another thrilling encounter, King's Thrush stars 48-87, while abandoned life Christian center Hamad ZB Titan 7043. Oilers suffered a defeat at the ends of Unicorns inside Mduduzi, the team manager of Oilers Club gave some reasons for the defeat. I think the problem that we're having, we're having too many uh, uh, turnovers, so that we were losing the ball, then they were, they were maximizing on that. In women's ties, Lakers dispatched Highlanders 43-42, and Skumbozo Vusantlov, the coach, was ecstatic about their victory. Uh, I think a win is a win, 43-42. Uh, I, was, I must give credit to Poso. They came up all with all cylinders. Um, but my team also played very well in spite of the fact that we haven't trained. I think we only had one training session. Some of the players were not there. So I think for our starters, a win is a win. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. 
That's all for today. Thank you for joining us and have a pleasant evening.